In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who called the bishop, St. Irenaeus, to confirm true doctrine and peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that, being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to the earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without first revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought upon you such upheaval as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire. You, yet you return not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel. And since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, O Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel reading today, we hear about a storm on the Sea of Galilee, which was sudden and unexpected. Sometimes our circumstances can change suddenly as well. Without warning, we can find ourselves in some overwhelming crisis. If yesterday all seemed well, and today we are in crisis, then today's gospel passage has a vital message for us. Matthew's account of the storm links it very closely with his church experience. The shouted prayer of the disciples, Lord save us, we are perishing, echoed the needs of St. Matthew's readers. It's the cry of all of us at some point in our lives. The message is that the Lord is near. Our desperate prayers for help will not go unanswered. The Lord is stronger than any storm that may threaten us, and in calling out, Lord, save us, we will not be without help. And now we turn to our Heavenly Father with these our prayers. 
that the church may courageously preach the good news of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer for their faith, that they may find their reward in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For health and blessings, for Kathleen King, Catherine King, and David King, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those confined to their homes or nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of St. Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord, and instill in us a love of the truth, so that we may keep the church's faith inviolate and her unity secure through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the bishop Saint Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring to us who truly follow it justification in your sight 
Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.